Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Adam's Eats. Hope you're well and hope you're having a fantastic day, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is in whatever... I'll try that again, shall we? Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Adam's Eats. How are we doing? Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, or whatever time it is in whatever part of the world that you're watching from. Yes, got it. Oh. I tell you what, right, if you saw some of the raw footage before I edit these videos, you'd just be wondering what the heck is he on about? You know, the times that I just spew out random stuff, I can't say my words. It's not easy, you know, getting on. It's not e See, look, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Speak! Anyway, hopefully we can get through the rest of this video without me mixing up my words too much. And today we're going to make some nice little potato rosties. Now these are nice little Swiss potato pancakes. Really, really simple. And all it is, is just grated potato, uh, seasoned it with some salt, some pepper, uh, and I'm going to put some sage in there as well, which isn't traditional, but it is nice. And we're going to fry these off in a pan, and I'm just going to serve them up uh, with a couple of fried eggs. And they're really great for freezing, you can make them up ahead of time, put them on a baking sheet, stick them in the freezer, and cook them when you want to. Now, although they are simple, the secret to getting a good potato rosti is lots of little steps done well. And by that I mean it's making sure that you've got the right potato, um, you're draining off all the excess water, because you don't want them too waterlogged, because otherwise they're not going to crisp up, and not turning them over too early, because if you do that, they're not going to be brown on the bottom and they're just going to fall apart. But don't worry, I've got your back, I'm going to show you these tips as we go. So if you hit that pause button, make a list of what you need, and we'll go and get started. Right, so the first thing we need to do is grate the potato. Um, I'm using desire because I had some left over from the previous recipe. Um, but what you want is a nice uh, roasting type potato, so King Edward, Maris Piper, or something like that. Russet's also good if you live in the States. Now there's two schools of thought when it comes to grating these. Uh, you can either parboil the potatoes or you can grate them raw. There's no correct way, I just prefer to do them raw just because it's easier and I'm also keeping the skins on as well. So what we'll do is just move those to one side a second. And I've got a grater here and I'm using the coarse side of the uh, grater. And all we need to do is just grate the potato, okay, until you've got nice strands of potato like that. And I'm just gonna pop that into a bowl here, which I've got lined with a clean tea towel, or you could use cheesecloth, muslin cloth, or anything like that. And I'll show you why we need that in a second, but all you need to do is just repeat that process with the rest of the potatoes. Okay, so once you've grated your potato, you should have a nice bowl like so. Now because there's going to be quite a lot of moisture in this potato, we need to get out that excess water. And that's why I'm using this clean tea towel. So all I'm going to do is just gather it all up into a ball and then just squeeze as tight as you can. And you can see all that water that's coming out of that potato. I know it looks a bit mucky, but that's just the colour of the skin coming through. And once you've squeezed it out, just tip it into a clean bowl. And then in that bowl, you can see how much water has actually come out of it. That water can be discarded and you need to put your tea towel in the washing machine. And then what you should be left with is some nice strands of potato like that. Now there's no binding agent in this. Uh, we're gonna use the natural starch of the potato. That's all you need to make these. So we're gonna season with a generous amount of salt and then some pepper. Again, plenty of that. What you can do to adjust the seasoning is, you know, add some in, then just pinch a bit off, fry a bit, taste it, and then if it needs more, then obviously you can add more. I'm probably using about a teaspoon of each. And then I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of sage. Get that in like that. And then lastly, I'm gonna add some finely chopped spring onion, just to give it that slight onion hum. Again, this is not traditional, but it does taste nice. Okay, so we'll get that into our mixture. And then you wanna get your hands in there and give everything a good thorough mix. Make sure that onion is evenly dispersed, all that seasoning as well. Okay, so that mixture is now done, and we can get on and make the rosties. Right, so I've got my pan here, and we need some fat to cook the rosties in. Now you can use olive oil, vegetable oil, butter, you know, whatever fat you use. But personally, duck or goose fat is gonna give you a really, really nice flavor. So that's what I'm gonna use. So we need a couple of tablespoons of that in our pan and then we need to get some heat into this pan uh, onto a sort of low to medium. Okay, so once your oil is fairly hot, we can start adding the mixture. You basically just wanna grab a golf ball sized piece and just drop it into the pan and just press it down slightly. 
I'm just going to do four for you because uh, I'm going to freeze the rest. Now what we're looking to achieve is a nice golden crust underneath before we flip them over. If you do it too early or they're too pale, again, they're just going to fall apart. So give those around five or six minutes on this side and then we'll flip them over. Right, okay, so these have been cooking for about five minutes on this side. So let's flip them over and have a look. Okay, be bold, just flip them. And that's what you're looking for, that really nice golden crust, okay? And you can see that that natural potato starch acts like a glue, which will stick these together. So you don't need egg, you don't need flour, anything like that. Just the natural starch in the potato. We'll give these another four minutes this side and then we'll add a knob of butter at the end just to finish them off. Right, so we're about one or two minutes away from these being finished. So I'm just gonna add a nice generous knob of butter. All right, maybe two knobs. And this will help colour them up and also add lots of nice flavour as well. Spoon some of that butter over the top as well. Hey, if you're looking for health food, you're in the wrong place. Right, so we'll leave those to cook for another minute or two and then I'll be ready to eat. Right, okay, so let's serve up some of these uh, Rosties. Now, obviously you're not gonna bother with a fancy piece of slate, but looks good for the photo, so that's why I'm doing it. Lay those on like that. And I've got a couple of nice fried eggs just to serve with it as well. Bit of green stuff. Now, I know it looks a bit fancy schmancy, but hey, it's gotta look good for the photo, right? And just because I can, here's a nice bit of egg filth for you. Just gonna cut that yolk. Yes! Right, so I think it's time we had a taste. Right then, should we give these a go? I think we should. I'll cut a nice piece off there. We can hear how crispy it is. Bit of that egg. It's crispy, got that onion flavour in there. And a nice hit of sage as well. They're really nicely seasoned as well. Honestly guys, give these a go because they're really, really simple to make and they taste wizard. And there we have it guys, those are my potato rosties. Easy as you like. Hmm. Got a bit stuck in my tooth. I'll save it for later. And that about wraps up today's episode, guys. So thanks again for tuning in and watching. Also, let me know in the comments if you like this recipe. Uh, and also, if you've got any tips for making rosties yourself. You know, you might have a different way of doing it. Also, if you like what you see, stick around at the end because there'll be some links to some other videos. And also, if you want to subscribe, there'll be a button for that as well. Thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll see you all next time for more tasty fun and frolics. And bye for now. <laughs>